Hi folks, it's Philip Andrews from the Elements team and in this session we're looking at some great ways to quickly find your best clips to use in your movie projects. With Premiere Elements 11 I think a lot of you will probably be starting your projects by just click and dragging your files directly into the editor workspace and this is great if you've got all of your files in a particular area as you can just work very quickly and very easily. But if you've got loads of different video files and you haven't categorized those or sorted them in any way we need a far better way of doing this and thankfully with Premiere Elements we have the organizer workspace alongside the editor workspace to really help us with that. If you're in the editor workspace you can quickly get to the organizer workspace by just clicking on the organizer button in the bottom left of the screen. So here you can see that we're inside the organizer and it is a great place for us to organize not just our video clips but also our audio files, any PDF files and of course our still images as well. It's important to make sure that the space is set up well for you. So just go to view to start with and check to see that all of the types of files that you want to be able to view inside the organizer workspace are selected. So you can see here audio is not selected. If I've got audio files on my machine categorized inside the workspace, I won't be able to see them until that is actually ticked. Now I have all of the files ticked, so I'll be able to see all of my resources in the organizer workspace. So that's just under the view menu, then media types, and then your file types. Once we've done that, let's look at different ways that we can organize our media. On the left hand side, we have the ability to create albums. And you see here I've got an album category called Kids Video. Underneath that, I've got a series of other entries that are to do with specific shoots that I was doing with the kids. All of these are going to be part of the same day out movie that I'm going to make inside Premiere Elements, but I've categorized them into different albums. This is a great way for me to be able to find them very quickly later on. All of the album titles are based around subject. Let's look at how we place some new files into one of these albums. So we'll go up to the import button here and just go down to files and folders. We'll then select one of these folders in particular we'll select the soccer one here and just click get media and you'll see we've got a bunch of video files here of the guys playing soccer so let's just create a new album and add these files to the album so I just go down to new album it opens up on the right hand side here we'll call this one soccer games and we'll make sure that we've select kids video as the upper level category that we're working with for this album we can then just click and drag across all of the files and just drag them across to our content and click OK. You see now that we have a new entry in the albums area, we can click on that to see all of the videos we have associated with that. If we click through any of the other ones, you'll see that we have those files as well. Going back to our whole library is simply a matter of clicking all media and you'll see all the files that we have in our organizer catalog. Just back to the kids videos now. And you'll notice that I've got one album here that I've created with no entries in it. That's to demonstrate to you how we can add files from our memory card directly from our video cameras into an album we've already created. But to look at that, let's go up to import again, and this time down from camera or card reader. We'll see the elements photo downloader, which is the utility that we use for downloading files from camera or card. I'll just go and select the card. It's found the card. It's got a preview of the first file on that card and I'm going to click advanced dialog because I like to see a preview of all the files that I have. If I click play I can even see a small preview of what the file is about and even just scroll through the file to check to see it's the video that I want to work with. I can select uh, videos individually or select them as a whole group by just holding down shift after selecting the first one and selecting the last one. But the thing I wanted to show you in amongst all of these options here is the way that we can import these files into an existing album. Now keep in mind that you will need to create an album first or you can do so by using this plus button inside the album. The one we want to add these videos to is of course Parachute. So we'll select that, click OK and then right at the bottom of the photo downloader we'll click the Get Media button. So automatically we'll load these files into the organizer workspace, which is terrific because we're downloading them from our card 
and then we'll add those to the parachute album. This is a great way to be very quick about doing your organization because it's at the time that you're actually downloading your files as well. So now if we go and look at another album and then click back to parachute you'll see that we've got those three video files sitting inside the parachute album. Alongside albums on the right hand side you'll see we also have another way of sorting our files and that's using tags. Tags are like keywords so if we select one of these videos and add in a keyword here such as color then this video will also be able to be selected when we go and look at the color entries. The way that keywords work is that we actually filter the content we have in our catalog using these controls here. And you'll see all the keywords on the left hand side. And you can choose to filter according to those keywords. And you can choose to turn filters on or off based on these filters that we have here as well as creating these tags by just typing in the names in the image tags box, we can add a tag or a tag category by just pressing the plus button. So let's just go and add a new keyword tag. We'll sit it under kids videos and we'll type in color. Click OK. And you'll see that we have a new tag sitting under the kids video tag category. We can just click and drag that to a video in order to attach that tag or we can work the other way where we drag the video to the tag and attach it as well. Now when we click on that tag you'll see that we have those two videos sitting here and don't forget you can always use the star rating system that we have as a means of indicating which are the best video clips that you have within an album or a tagged group. So here we've made this clip five stars and this clip three stars. So we can sort these clips according to the number of stars. So we can say greater than four stars using the ratings filter at the top on the right hand side and now we only see the five star rated video. If we say greater than or equal to two stars then we'll see both star rated videos. So as well as using albums and tags we can use star ratings to help us filter down to just the best clips that we have and be able to find those quickly and easily and add them to our movie projects.